Hello again, witchy people. It's a very hot and humid night, yet again. So my window is open, so you may get a little bit of noise coming through, so I apologise for that. Any strange noises coming from inside the room, I shall blame on the cat and the dog. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to answer some of these questions that I asked <coughs> um, people to ask me on the 500 subscribers giveaway post. Uh, some of them I'll bunch together because it's easier to answer them as a group and some of them I will answer singly. This one I'm going to answer singly and it's from Dragon Iris and I'll link her YouTube channel below. Now I will link these YouTube channels whether or not they have any content because just because they don't have content doesn't mean to say they won't have content. See what I mean? Okay so Dragon Iris uh, asked me do you work with any deities or spirits in your practice and that includes animal spirits? It's an interesting question for a hedge witch because traditionally we don't work at all with deities. Um, however, sometimes it's a matter of having some kind of affinity with a certain figure, whether that be a, a deitical figure. Try saying that with a lisp. <laughs> Um, we, I say we as hedge witches, I will say personally I don't see them as deities, I see them more as spiritual entities and I think I have quite a strange mixture, um, bear in mind that I don't work with deities, <laughs> so first and foremost I think well, not first and foremost, but one of the first that comes to mind is one of the few what may be considered gods, uh, and that would be Hearn, Hearn the Hunter. Now, I believe it was Shakespeare who wrote about Hearn the Hunter in, how is it, The Merry Wives of Windsor? I think it was. And I actually started writing a book about Hearn the Hunter and the Green Man and horned gods and how they all coalesce and refer to each other in some sort of historical sense. Um, I will finish it one day, <laughs> you never know. Um, but yes, so I see these, like I said, I do believe that Shakespeare sought information from a past historical figure and whether that uh, figure was called Hearn or not is debatable but Hearn the Hunter as he is depicted and I to be honest I think when I was about 12 or 13 uh, there was an actor called Michael Prade I think I know Jason Connery took over the role afterwards but Michael Prade was the first one who played um, Robin Hood, Robin of Loxley, in Robin Hood, the series here in England. And uh, I fell in love with this whole series when I was younger, only because of this figure, this sort of like, this horned figure coming out of the mist that they depicted as Hearn. And it was from that that I, I gained this, I don't know, I know it sounds silly, sort of like getting these ideas from television programmes, but there was obviously some basis mythological historical basis in these programs that I it just calls to me so I've always had a thing about Han. The others are uh, Lilith and I know that's typically uh, what you might call a biblical figure. Uh, Lilith was considered to be Adam's first wife. Um, she was the first woman and some some offshoots of certain religions like to depict her as the serpent that tempted Eve. Obviously I don't see Lilith in a biblical sense. Um, Hestia was one of those figures that you don't hear much about. She was um, goddess of the hearth and I think that was that very much appealed to me um, especially when my children were younger and of course then there's Hecate who was 
always one of those figures that was foremost in my mind as a strong powerful entity um not just as a symbol for woman but as a, a symbol of strength in what is basically a female orientated faith <laughs> that doesn't sound right but you know whereas obviously judaism is a matriarchal uh, religion um I, I feel that in many ways so is witchcraft and hedge witchery not to say that it doesn't appeal to men or there aren't any male witches because of course there are <laughs> oh i'm probably digging myself a hole here anyway so those are the deities if you like but i don't see them as deities i see them as spiritual entities spiritual beings and yes i do work with them occasionally not so much calling upon them for spell work but using them as guidance when especially going into the realm of the dead um, when you converse with the dead and start having communication with the dead you need some sort of spiritual figure there to to ground you almost and to keep you keep you back enough um, anyone who's done that will kind of understand what I mean <laughs> Now, when it comes to actual spirit guides, spirit animals, yes, I do. And I do look, call upon them for spell work and magical workings. Quite often I don't have to because they're there. And these spirit guides, these spirit animals do have a name. There's Lily, who is a long-haired Jack Russell. <laughs> there is Bella, who is a black cat and there is a baby also known as miss violet who is a very fluffy white and black cat and they are all my animals these are animals that were mine that have passed on uh, bella and baby particularly a very very strong um quite often uh baby miss violet can be seen playing in the garden and it sounds odd I, d I actually mentioned it to my doctor once and my doctor thought i was um cuckoo uh <laughs> which is fine i probably am very much cuckoo however just because i see spirits and ghosts doesn't mean to mean doesn't mean that i'm more cuckoo than you know that I'm, she thought i was having a breakdown I did my doctor and sent me to see a psychiatrist and a counsellor uh, which is something that you kind of get used to so those are the main i'm going to call them all spirits spiritual entities and spirits that i connect with and work with um like i said i don't often call them with spell work it is more like i said it's guidance or as a guide when it comes to her and hestia hecate and lilith and i don't see any one stronger than the other i don't feel any one stronger than the other in general but they do have certain strengths in certain areas uh, and it will also depend on my actual physical mood on which spirit is is best called upon um, but like I said my, my actual spirit animals I don't call them they are just there <laughs> and if the microphone is picking up a very faint meowing I apologize it's Callie our eldest cat who's outside the door she'll knock on the door in a minute and every time I go downstairs to let her in she hides under the car <laughs> it's like it's her game I get it <laughs> um so yes there's no little ghosty uh pussycats meowing that you can hear it's just Callie in the background so there you go a rather rambling um uh post here ram rambling vlog 
video, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it's a hot night. My brain doesn't work well in heat. <laughs> so, and that is specifically, do I work with spirits? Yes, I do. But of course, the other thing is I work with all spirits. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. When you call upon the dead, especially during spell work, you don't call upon them in a guide. It's, it's more of a, a help for divination and for messages, that sort of thing. With the dead, it's something slightly different. Sp the spirits of the dead are very much... You, you, you can't really call them when you want. They call you when they want. You can put yourself in their realm. You can put yourself in a position to communicate with them. But it's usually on their terms. Whereas when it comes to spirit animals, they're just there because they want to be and they like to help. And when you call upon... I'm guessing it's the same as when people call upon deities. You, you call upon them to help you. They're there to aid you, to guide you, to ground you, to protect you. So it's a completely different spiritual entity, when I talk about spiritual entities, as the spirit or the remains of someone who's passed over, who has died. I really have rambled on now, so I'd better go. Thank you, Dragon Iris, for that. I will link your channel below. And I'll be back soon with another question or oh, questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching, witchy people. Bye for now.